okay so corresponding to this you have to calculate the value of fsc now that you get from code the limiting value it's given here the design stress in compression reinforcement corresponding to strain of 0 0.0035 corresponding to strain of this now we have calculated the strain 0 0.002 now what do you need to do is you need to go to i sh showed you last time <coughs> this here even for a cold worked uh, deformed bar, you can use this method easily to get. What we'll do is we'll copy paste this. This is how you should also do it. Now, Corresponding to point zero zero two, let me <coughs> if I can get the grid line. leave that so you have to stretch a straight line here from point zero zero two stretch a straight line from here then from this you have to put up a corresponding so you are getting around 0.81 fy this is just a generalization it's around 0.81 fy thereby your fsc is 0.81 into FY, FY is 500. This is 0 0.81 into 500, which is 105 mm square. So we have the value of FSC. So from code itself, then going back to an G, we can now determine the value of ASC. You can now determine the value of ASC from here. So your ASC is now AST2 that you have provided or delta AST or AST2, whatever you want to call it, that you have provided into divided by FSC into 0.87. So it will be 0.87 FY. Divided by divided by FSC. FSC is now 405. No, this is not mm square, sorry. This is Newton per mm square. This is Newton per mm square. So 
This is divided by 405 Newton per mm square. <coughs> so how much is the value of AST that we provided? That's delta AST. This is 553.99. That's 553.99 into 0 0.87 into 500 divided by 405. So, how value? Yes. Five ninety five <coughs> mm square is the value of ASC that you require. This is what you require now. This is required ASC. As per code, you have calculated this. Thereby, what did we assume that we will be providing a twenty mm? compression reinforcement bar then how many bars do you require if you are providing 20 mm compression bars then how many do you require yes Anji, number of bars required is Five ninety five divided by twenty mm bar ka area kitna hai yes two like what is the area of a twenty mm bar three hundred fourteen three hundred fourteen we calculated it already this is divided by three hundred and fourteen so you are getting one point something uh, which is which comes out to be two number bars you have to provide so you have to provide two number compression bars now 20 mm on the compression side now your design is actually cal finished you are finished with the design you just now have to design it for the stirrups that like we designed in the singly reinforced section there is no change in the stirrup design <coughs> this is two hash 20 mm bars <coughs> that we are providing now so we have fixed this this was 475 mm the depth the width was 250 mm these are compression bars these are tension bars you have this as the section that we have designed we have now designed the tension reinforcement and the compression reinforcement the last step is the design of the stirrups and for this question you will do that yourself because there is no change in the design of the stirrups from the singly reinforced section it's the same process that you have to follow again there you have to follow vus is vu minus vc you have to first calculate vc vu is known to you so aapko vus mil jayega and then you have to provide it as a vertical stirrups. Then you can get the stirrups designed. And finally is the hook. It's again the same uh, method. So you will uh, complete this question uh, at your own places. 